What's up you guys, Zoe here for OneGlanceTrader.com and today marks an epic milestone for the OGT YouTube channel. Not only did we surpass 12,000 subscribers this week, but for the first time ever I'm releasing a trading view indicator absolutely free. And as you can see through the thumbnail and on your screen right now, it's no surprise that it's the OGT trend dashboard that has made it as my first ever trading view indicator. And all I ask for in return is that you like this video, if this video provided value or this indicators provided value. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm providing a lot more indicators, a lot more EAs, a lot more trading strategies in 2021. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those pieces, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. So in this particular video, what we're going to do, we're going to go through into what the OGT trend dashboard is at a very high level if you're new. Um, we're then going to show you how to find the OGT trend dashboard and then go into its settings and kind of how you can trade it through um, trading view. So the OGT trend dashboard is a trend indicator that looks to identify uh, trends across multiple time frames. Now it uses three EMAs, um, a fast, medium and slow and you can predefine those uh, EMA settings uh, yourself to whatever you want. The default uh, I believe is 50, 100 and 200 for memory. Well, yep, yeah, it says it here at the top, 50, 100 and 200 uh, EMAs. And when they are in order from top to bottom, um, from a fast, medium and slow, that identifies that the um, pair or commodity or stock um, is trending upwards on that particular time frame. So you can see here on the USD uh, chef, that the well, the M1 to H4, all the all the EMAs are in uh, are in order. And if I just look at a five minute chart at the moment, you can see that the 50 EMA is at the top, the 100 is in the middle, and the 200 is at the bottom to signify that we are in an uptrend. And what this dashboard, where it comes into its own, because you can visually see very quickly across all time frames, uh, you can actually see that the USD chef that you know you really only want to be looking for um, buy trades in this particular scenario. So when top to bottom is the complete opposite of slow, medium and fast, it means that we are in a downtrend. And then that is signified by a red block. And whenever the MAs or EMAs are in, not in those uh, kind of uh, scenarios um, and they're all jumbled up and tangled together, it's kind of signifying that either a trend is maybe reversing or we are in a range which is signified by the uh, grey boxes. So that's what the indicator uh, sets out to do. And unlike the MT4 and MT5 versions, because this is on trading view, this will apply to any uh, stock, commodity, index, or currency pair that is available on the trading view platform. So now if you are a stock trader, an options trader, an indices trader, you now can utilize this indicator to give you a very high level pictorial view of what the overall market is doing, which is absolutely fantastic. So I will give you a caveat on this uh, on this particular indicator. So there's two things. One, um, similar to the MT4 and MT5 versions, because it is utilizing three EMAs across multiple time frames, across multiple um, commodity stocks, currency pairs, whatever you whatever you want to look at, it does take a while to load. So if you want to speed up the load time put less symbols on there um, and there's a way to do that inside the dashboard uh, inside the settings of the dashboard and also select lower time frames uh, or or minimize your time frames because you can go all the way from the m1 all the way up to the uh, weekly so or the monthly sorry so again if you just shorten those kind of parameters down it will be a lot quicker but once it's kind of loaded and you're not doing a lot of changes then it's kind of set there and it will work behind the scenes for you and the second thing is is inside the mt4 and mt5 versions 
you could select, you know, quite a few currency pairs uh, or commodities or stocks inside TradingView. This version is limited to four only because of the load time, because then it takes a long, a long time to load. And I think four is a good enough kind of um, a range there, because again, you not really want to be scanning a lot of a lot of pairs uh, or commodities or stocks. So hopefully that gives you kind of the breakdown as well as as well as what one thing i've also noticed is it sometimes for example if the m1 changes from green to gray for example what i've noticed is due to kind of how the the calls work behind the scenes in terms of pine language it sometimes takes a while for it to kind of show in real time so my suggestion is if you're using this trend dashboard i would use it on lower time frames because the calls behind the scenes are more frequent and therefore the real time access is a uh, is is more is more efficient so utilize this on lower term time frames my view would be is use it on 30 minutes or below so if you're trading the euro usd on a daily for example i would have this trend dashboard on a separate template on the m1 m5 chart so you can have a look at that template do your analysis and then head over to the daily to kind of place your trades i, I personally wouldn't put this indicator on the daily chart because it's not going to be in in real time so trade this or use this information that is showing on on lower time frames just so that it speeds up the kind of process so just to go over you and how you're going to find this um, i've not released it yet publicly but i'll do that by the time you watch this video so all you need to do is search for the ogt trend dashboard double click on it and then you'll be able to find the uh, find the indicator and it will load so in terms of uh, the settings, um, you've obviously got your slow, medium and fast moving averages that you can put in. And again, they are based on the EMAs. Um, you can also do the offset of the label if you so choose to. And then you've got uh, four sections of where you can enter in your uh, pair stocks or commodities. It, say, it says pairs on here, but again, if you go into pair two, for example, the Euro USD. Um, you can you can type in you can type in anything and then uh, like Apple for example um, if I can spell Apple um, and then use Apple as slot two if you really wanted to um, a cool feature is is that you can turn on and off um, which pair you want to see so pair one will always be the chart that you're looking at or that you've applied the um, trend trend dashboard too so in this case uh, the usd chef um, and then you can take pair two pair three pair four off if you so wish to to again speed up the um uh, the the indicator um and then you've got your time frames again i've just taken off monthly weekly and daily to kind of just show you some examples of of how the alerts work which i'll show you inside a second so i'm just going to cancel that now and then that will bring this um this bar up and again it will put it into a separate plane uh not plane pane sorry kind of how the rsi the macd and other indicators on unlike the mt4 and mt5 versions it puts it onto the uh, chart exactly in the in trading view uh it was worked out that the best thing to do is just put it in its separate pane um and again you can put the pane by clicking the arrow at the bottom or or at the top i personally like to have it at the top um, and I've just made this bigger just for illustration purposes so you guys can kind of see it. So again, it's kind of showing at the moment that, you know, you've got the GBP, JPY, the USD chef, you know, kind of really inside a bull market at the moment. And again, we'll go through how we can kind of use the alerts and everything to kind of utilize uh, buying opportunities. So the next thing I wanted to kind of show you is kind of how the um, alerts kind of work. Um, so if you want to visually see previous alerts i.e when when the pair or commodity or stock that you're trading across all the time frames you're showing were either green or red um you can you can do that so the way the alerts work is it shows you whichever time frames you have selected whenever all the time frames have turned green so they're all trending up or when they're showing red when they're trending down it will then show you or alert you on your smartphone or on your app or uh, or, or through the or through the actual platform itself through your um, browser notifications however you decide that you want to uh, receive alerts 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off pair two, three, and four, and then just click on show current uh, show current pair alerts, and <clears throat> and you'll see by here that behind the scenes that it's um, thinking about it. So what it's going to do is it's going to remove the bottom three pairs. And it's now going to show you uh, the alerts on the left hand side with this bar over here. And I'll kind of go through an example uh, of what that looks like. So there we go. So what you can see now, and again, you you have to fiddle around with this slightly so you get it how you want it to, how you want it to go. So I'm just going to bring this up so you can see more of the uh, uh, more of the chart over here. So what you can see over here, you can see these green spikes. And what these green spikes are indicating is it's at this point in time where the M1 to H4 were all green. And if you want to know the last alert was at this bar over here. So it's at this bar here is when all of these time frames were, uh, were, were green. And I'm on the M5 chart, so this is more than likely where the... Um, the M15 or M30 eventually, uh, uh, or the M1 eventually turned uh, turned green. So if I scroll back, you can see here. If I zoom out slightly um, over here, you can see at all of these green areas over here is would have given you signals to potentially have gone long. I'm not saying that you use this in as a sole indicator to go long every time these these time frames were green, um, but this is a classic example of where you can utilize this indicator to know that, and again, this is a quite a quite a nice trend of potential areas of where you can get into uh, get into long term, uh, not long term, but you know uh, up uptrends or, or or downtrends depending on, on what it looks like so again as you can see and if I just keep going back um, it's been on a trend for a while so even up to at this level here back on March the 3rd and we're on the uh, the market close on the 5th so in the last two days if you have a look at you know this particular trend that has continued to go up here you would have bagged some nice nice amount of pips uh by doing that so that is how the historic alerts kind of work and it only, even though it shows an option in the settings of show for current pair um it will only visually show the previous alerts for um, the current pair that you're on. If you click on show alerts for pair two, pair three, for example, um, and we'll let, we'll let, we'll let that load. Um, I believe so, we'll find out in a second. It shouldn't change any, uh, any of these things here. What that does is it allows you then, if you are watching pair two and pair three and pair four, it allows you to get the notifications of any future alerts that may uh, come in for that particular uh, particular currency pair, and yeah, as you can see, um, it's only showing it for pair one. Um, and but what it now has done by selecting the alerts for pair two, three, and four, um, you now can set up alerts uh, for that. So the way you set up the alerts is that if you could hover over the trend dashboard and then you go to add alert. And then all you do is make sure that you have selected OGT trend dashboard, the alert, uh, any alert function call, um, and then set your times if you want to do that and how you want to be notified of that piece. So the next time any of the pairs that you're watching in this example where the M1 um, M1, M5, M13, M, M13, M15, M30, H1, and H4 are all either red or green. You will notify alert. And again, in the in the settings, you can say if you're only interested in the M1, M5, and M, M15, for example, you can set that. So whatever you're displaying over here is what your alerts function will uh, will notify you of. And um, and for me. That is absolutely fantastic because again, if we go back to what we just looked at over here, of if I'm gonna try to make this as small as I can uh, to show you as much of the chart while you can still see that, you've got you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know you've got seven alerts in the in the space of pretty much a day um, 
over here and then you know you would have caught the bulk of this move but imagine if you overlaid you know price action the macd on bullish bullish hidden divergence on top of that and overlay all those other elements imagine how powerful this indicator can actually be um on trade on trading view as well as mt4 and mt5 so for those who are wanna are big fans of trading view and are big fans of the ogt trend dashboard now you can set up your own alerts through the platform uh and uh, and trade with it so i really hope that that really provide some value for you please drop this video a like please subscribe to the channel um, i'll now put over the full playlist of the ogt trend dashboard which goes through in a lot more detail about ways that you can utilize this inside your trading and trade it so have fun with it please comment down below and i shall see you guys in the next video